Two more. Oh, loud. All right. So it's pretty awesome to see so many people here. We know it's raining. We know that you should all be inside crying because the Giants lost yesterday. I know if I had my way, I'd be home crying. I'm sad. I'm in mourning. They're going to win tomorrow. It's going to be great. My name is Grant Rodick. I am the lead producer of the Sims 3 Expansion Pack team. So, um, yay. It's pretty cool. Uh, one of the video guys told me I would need to pause for applause there, so I'm kind of excited. <laughs> it's true. Um, anyways, we're really excited about tonight. Um, we're always looking for new ways to talk and meet with our fans, so the fact that so many of you showed up here is really cool. We're going to show off three new games, um, The Sims 3 for console with the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Ben Bell's going to be showing you guys that. They basically took all the awesome elements from the PC game, and then they put them onto the console with you know, different controls, so you can now sit on your couch, you know, play with the weight, not the weight bird, that's the GameCube. Play with the DualShock, things like that. And they also put in some new cool gameplay features like Karma Power, so you can you know, totally mess with your Sims, put down firestorms and stuff like that, or you, know, you can really hook them up. It's, it's a lot of fun, and it's got some good deviant gameplay to it. After that, we're going to show you guys The Sims Medieval. This is an entirely new franchise from us. Yeah, I'm excited too. Rachel Bernstein is going to be here to show you guys this. Not a lot of people have seen this yet. Um, in fact, very few have. So you guys are going to be kind of the first, and you can talk to your fans about this. Medieval is a whole new way for you to play The Sims. It lets you tell completely new stories, go back in time, play as a knight, medieval quest stories like that. It's really great. Really love it. And then finally, my personal favorite, me and Mr. Ryan Vaughn back there. Everybody give a hand for Ryan Vaughn. Nice. Me and Mr. Ryan Vaughn are going to show you guys Late Night, the all-new expansion pack. This is my personal favorite. It's the new expansion pack for The Sims. It's all about going out on the town, having a great time, but we'll get into that in just a second. So, what? Yes, I'll tell you all about vampires. <laughs> so some quick orders of business. Um, first off, the unfortunate news. Uh, please, no photography, no video stuff. We're actually going to videotape this, put it online, and everybody's going to be able to see it, and it's going to be great. Um, secondly, we're going to be throwing out t-shirts. I've got a basket over here. We've got more stuff. So every time I come up here, go crazy. It's going to look great. I'm going to throw you more t-shirts. Uh, so just raise your hand. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I haven't forgot about you guys. You'll get all the love next time. And see, what you guys don't know is my mom's sitting in that section, so that tie's gonna get a lot of love. So, you guys picked right. So, that's first order of business. Second order of business, if you came here with a question, which I hope you did, or if some point during our long spiel, one of us says something really hilarious or awesome or you know, spins the mind, um, hold down the question, write it down on your iPhone if you can't remember it, if you're a goldfish, whatever that. Um, we're gonna have a question and answer session at the end where me, Rachel Bernstein, and Ben Bell are gonna come up here and answer all your questions about the console, late night, and medieval. So that's probably going to be the coolest part for me, at least, is to have sort of a bit of a dialogue with you guys about what your questions are for the games we're showing tonight. And then finally, in the room adjacent to us, we have hands-on time for late night as well as both the PS3 and 360 versions of the consoles. So they don't ship until next week, next Tuesday, but you can try it now, which is really cool. And then finally, some of you guys might have seen that we have a confessions booth. Definitely go over there and check that out. You know, get your video in there. We're going to use it, and it's going to be really cool, and everybody's good to see you and hear about how you play with The Sims. And then finally, at the very, very end, a couple of us are going to be over there signing stuff. So if you had a game or a poster, you want some of the devs to sign it, some of our awesome marketing partners to sign it, you can get in line, and we'll sign stuff for you. So anything else? Well, you can't ask questions yet. That's at the end. So first up, I'm going to introduce Mr. Ben Bell, executive producer for The Sims 3 console. But first, a quick trailer.
Thank you so much for coming out tonight. We really appreciate, appreciate having you here. As Grant said, we love every chance we can get to meet with our fans and our community. You guys really make the game what it is, uh, literally. So um, we're here to talk about The Sims 3, which is coming to console next week. And we've been working really hard on this game, and I'm really excited about it. I feel like it's the best console game that we've ever been able to deliver. Uh, we've got all the power of The Sims 3, all the features that you guys know and love, and uh, it's been specifically adapted to every platform in a fantastic way with features like Karma Powers, which we're gonna talk about in a demo in a moment. Uh, we've integrated the content exchange right into the game itself, uh, and we've got some challenge-based gameplay, which is a lot of fun to play with. It's kind of a new twist on The Sims game that we're gonna show you. So, um, without further ado, I'd love to show you the game. Uh, my friend George Pagula is in the back and he's helping me demo. Hey George, how are you? So, uh, George is gonna interject sometimes and help keep me on track and stop me from meandering and talking too much. Um, I, like I said, I'm really excited about this game. Uh, we worked really hard on The Sims 3 uh, last year, which, uh, which, which launched last year, and then we've been hard at work since then adapting it for all these different consoles. Um, a lot of different development teams working on this product together to, uh, to make something that I think is just truly fantastic. So um, right now we're looking at the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions of the game. Uh, sometimes I'm gonna call them the HD versions or high definition versions, so just uh, if, if you hear me use that lingo, that's, I really mean this game and, uh, and the Xbox 360 game. So uh, George is making his, uh, his alter ego. Uh, those are some really rad sunglasses, George, I love them. Um, and we are looking at Create a Sim, which has all of the power of Create a Sim from The Sims 3 uh, with some really cool new twists. So you can create any person that you can imagine. You can customize every detail of their personality, uh, every detail of their, uh, their physical you know, proportions and, and the clothing that they're, wear, uh, they're wearing, and then you can decide how they act and behave through the personality traits. Uh, however, uh, how many of you guys have ever used the content exchange on sims3.com? All right, so it's obviously it's a really popular experience for, uh, for PC players, but it's never been available before on the uh, console platforms. Um, and what we've done with The Sims 3 on console is we've actually integrated the exchange right into the game itself. It totally changes the way that you're gonna go about creating stuff in the game. So right now, George is browsing clothing, and uh, in the far left column, you can actually see designs that were created by Sims players around the world. So basically, no matter where you're creating content in the game, whether you're making a house or you're making people, we're gonna show you some of the top downloaded items for any given category of content that you're looking at. And then you can actually go into a really cool search utility. You can, uh, you can, you can search for the perfect thing, or if your friends are on Facebook and they've, uh, they've updated, uh, they've uploaded some, some piece of content, you're gonna get an update uh, in the game and in your Facebook newsfeed and so on. So it's, really, uh, it's a really cool way to kind of interact with, with your friends from the Sims community and share stuff with everybody around the world. 